The Ontario government has not ensured that new public transit stations are fully accessible to passengers with disabilities. They recently renovated the Toronto Union Station's Go Transit area. On most of the train platforms, they added several leaning pillars. My white cane taps the ground and tells me there's no obstacle there. But then my shoulder or head hits the leaning pillar. The tactile walking surface indicator as a wayfinding path on the York University subway station platform. It's supposed to guide me along the platform but it has a serious problem. I come downstairs to the platform. This tactile path guides me forward a few meters and then right into a wall. For safety, it's important to have a cane detectable tactile walking surface indicator with proper color contrast all along the edge of a train platform. Here is an unsafe platform at the renovated Union Station Go Transit area. Its edge doesn't have tactile safety warning. At the Bloor and Weston stations on the UP Express line, these tactile surface safety warnings are provided at some points along the platform, but not along the edge of the platform that I have to travel along to get to the UP Express platform. Another place where we need a tactile marking on the ground for safety is when I come to a boundary between a safe pedestrian sidewalk and an adjacent road or driveway. I walk along the exit path from the Bloor Station on the UP Express Line. It leads out to the Kiss and Ride passenger pickup area. I walk from the sidewalk right into the driveway. Because there's no tactile warning, I don't know I've walked into the path where cars can drive. There should be a tactile walking surface indicator there to keep everyone safe. York University subway station has two entrances. Only one has an elevator. The other entrance is inaccessible if you can't use stairs or an escalator. If the one elevator at the accessible entrance breaks down, then the entire station becomes inaccessible. Here at the inaccessible entrance, it looks like space was allowed for an elevator, but none was installed. The main staircase inside the York University subway station has really bad railings. They aren't consistently placed at a right angle to the stairs. Instead, at least some of the railings are unsafely skewed at a weird angle to the stairs. I try to use the railing to guide me up or down the stairs. The railing forces my feet off at an angle. These are bad for blind people and for people who are unsteady on their feet. It's good that the New York University subway station has automatic power doors. They automatically slide open when you walk close to them. You don't have to find and press a button. The Bloor Street UP Express station's power doors are not automatic. To open the door off Bloor, you must grope around and find a button which is too far from the door. When that door swings open, it can hit someone. Let's take a quick look at the other entrance to the York University subway station, the one that is inaccessible because it has no elevator. It's good that a sign outside that entrance says that there is an accessible entrance elsewhere. But where did they put this important sign? It's right beside the automatic doors to the entrance. When the doors slide open, which is often the case, you can't see the sign. When crossing the road here, it's good that outside this inaccessible entrance, there's a curb cut at the roadside. This lets someone using a wheelchair, scooter, or walker get down to the road level to cross the street. But when you cross to the other side of the street, there's no curb cut to let you get back up to the sidewalk. Learn more at www.aodaalliance.org. Write us at aodafeedback at gmail.com. Follow us on Twitter at AODA Alliance. For a longer version of this video, go to YouTube and search on Transit and AODA Alliance and Long Version.